guys welcome back to another video so today is gonna just be a really chilled video um it's 8 31 in the evening and i am knackered and i just want to go to bed oh, i've got work in the morning so oh. i also i've taken my tablets which tend to make me quite sleepy so i'm gonna do a quick sort of um questions and answers these are questions I found online which you guys may find quite interesting about me um, so you can get to know me a little bit more because I know I've had a lot more a lot more people subscribe to my channel since I did my last one and I think a lot of you guys actually enjoyed it. So the first question is what was the last picture you took with your phone? Now the first a photo I took with my on um, no the last photo I took on my phone was what? I was trying to take a selfie but it wasn't really working um yeah it just wasn't working i like these ones though Do -do -do. so yeah that was the last photo i took on my phone do you know any big gossip mm, no i don't have you been pulled over by a cop no because i don't drive or have i no i don't think i have been i have had to I'm trying to think. No, I haven't. That's. I've never been pulled over by a cop, but I have been in a minor car crash, like a, an, a complete minor car crash, um, in a car park in the IKEA car park, and I remember it very well. <laughs> um, do you know your heritage? Yes, I am half Irish. No, sorry, quarter Irish, I think. Um, and I am. British. The rest of them. What have you always wanted and did you ever get it? So the one thing I really wanted was a MacBook and if you guys I think I'm showing you the vlog I have now got a MacBook and I got a MacBook so I'm super excited about that. Um I just love Macs. I always have done since I was little. It's, it was always my dream laptop. Don't ask me why, but it was. And I've got it, so I'm happy. What kind of sickness have you lied about so you wouldn't, wouldn't go to work? Um, now, saying that, I've this is my proper first job that I've had. So I haven't... The jobs that I've done before... The jobs I've done before... Um... I think I probably said I had a migraine or something, which, to be honest, was probably true. And oh, I couldn't do it because I got too anxious or lied about because I had something to go and do um, when I didn't actually. So, yeah, that's something I've had to do. Have you ever danced in the rain? No, I haven't. I'm, I must have done it when I was little, but I haven't done it now. What is your blood type? I have no idea not an absolute clue i am though a blood donor um which you can sign up when you're 17 and i feel like it's really important to especially if you're um not on the organ donor list when you die you're not going to need your organs or your heart or anything so just sign up it can save someone's life and i feel like it's really important to do that so i'm signed up my brother signed up my boyfriend signed up my mum and dad are both signed up um I think my friends, literally anyone I see, I'm like, have you signed up? Have you signed up? Just to make sure that they are, because I think it's such an important thing to do. Um, oh, I like this, number nine. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes, I've been in a minor car accident. Um, and so, yeah, I was in a minor car accident when I was really little, where a car literally backed into us. And then a couple of years ago, we had this massive like Ford um, minivan and my dad got it in this tiny car park and it was a hire car in, we were actually in Spain at the time but we'd been staying in France so we'd just gone into Spain for the day to go to an art um, expedition, ex, exhibition, that's the word, I cannot say expedition, exhibition, there we go, um, and I was sitting 
on the side and my dad goes into a bollard on the side of like the van <laughs> that was quite scary um that's really the only time that's happened question 10 what was the weirdest prank call that you have made um i don't know i've done some good prank calls over the time um i once told my sister that i was pregnant when i wasn't this was when she was pregnant so i thought i'd trick her it was actually quite funny um what else To be honest, if I try and prank call someone, I end up just laughing because I'm not a very good prank caller. Do you trust anyone in your life? Um, obviously my boyfriend I do, and probably my dad. Um, uh, probably my mum. I don't know. Yeah, probably them. They're like my best mates. Um, best compliment you have ever received. Um. That's probably about my eyes. I have been trying to wear contacts more. I know I've put my glasses on now, um, but today I have actually had contacts in. It's just because I try and wear them in the day and I'm filming this at night time. So yeah, that was probably sort of some, they've been saying how blue they are. I think they stand out more when I've got contacts in for some weird reason. Um, Okay, what is your perfect pizza? My perfect pizza would probably be um, corn, olives, pepper, mushrooms, spinach, a small amount of cheese because I'm lactose intolerant but I do like cheese on my pizza, um, or tuna, like tuna on the top with some sweet corn on a pizza. That is like my favourite pizza ever. For any of you wondering, I've got a dead leg. Um, for any of you wondering, I am actually a pescatarian, so I eat fish. Because I don't eat dairy, I do try, like, I very rarely eat dairy. I do try, I do try and eat fish instead of cutting them both up. What was your first thought when you woke up this morning? Hmm. Check my phone to see if, um someone on youtube has update uploaded their birth vlog what are their names um i want to say katie and colin but it's not i know it's not um corbin and oh random missing hang on i'm trying to find it give me one second oh my leg Kelsey, Corbin, Corbin and Kelsey, um, if they had uploaded their birth vlog, and my legs gone really dead. Okay, this is going to be a very painful video, I think. Um, okay, um. Okay, this is a good one. Would you be willing to lie to a court for a close friend if it meant saving your friend from going to jail for life? No. Um, I believe that people make decisions and if they are the wrong decisions then they should pay for it. And I, even though I would obviously still be friends with them, but I wouldn't lie, I'm not that sort of person to lie. Um, I never really have been. I've always sort of been a goody two shoe when it comes to telling the truth. Um, so that's something I would definitely not. I even if it was like my best mate, I couldn't. I couldn't lie. Um, no, I just feel really guilty, and then obviously I could then get in trouble myself. So no. Um, if you could have anyone locked in a room so that you could torment them for a day who would you choose and how would you torment them um I, this is a good one i would torment my brother with clowns he hates clowns so yeah i would probably get clowns in a room for the whole day and then um yeah torment 
tr torment him for the whole day. That would be good. That would be good. Ooh. Ooh, that, that would be good. Do you feel that children should be sheltered from unhappiness? Um, I believe that children should try and find their own path. I think it's good to sort of let them stand on their own two feet. Not from an early stage, obviously, but um, to f not... Like, people will always be unhappy. Not always, but you will go with ups and downs throughout your life. And I think it's important that you find ways and strategies of being able to cope. Um, so I think if a child is unhappy, then you speak to them and see how you can resolve it. I think by completely sh sh sheltering them from it, I just don't think um, it's a good idea. And that's just my opinion, obviously. I don't have children, but that's just my own opinion and how I've been brought up. If you could have personally witnessed anything, what would you want to have, have been been able to see um probably i don't know probably my nephew's birth i think that would have been nice but i was at school and i was too young anyway i was tiny was i 16 or was i 15 no i was 16 so I, yeah i was doing gcse's um, if you could wake up tomorrow in the body of someone else, who would you pick and what would you do? Um, I would probably be... Is this going to sound really bad? I would probably be Donald Trump and actually make sense. Like, put some sense into him. Like, I know I'm going to get criticism and stuff on this video, but... I just don't think he's just a bit of a moron. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I disagree with a lot of things he does. Um, but obviously I live in the UK. So <laughs> obviously we've got our own Prime Minister uh, issues over here. But that would be quite interesting to sort of go. That would be quite interesting, I think, to see why he makes those decisions and how he thinks of those decisions if you could be any age for a week what age would you be i would love to be probably 60 or 70 to see how my life will turn out my camera is flashing um to see how my life would turn out um to see what if I'm going to have grandchildren and what my kids are going to look like I think that would be so cool if you could do that but obviously through technology right I'm going to do one more um okay this is a good one what is the strangest name that someone has introduced themselves as to you? Um, now, I don't know his real name, but my brother calls him Egghead. I think that's what he called them. I think they called him Egghead or... I can't remember. Okay. Okay. Is there something you constantly lose at your hours or any I think your house or anywhere? Um I always always lose my phone. Like I will always be like, Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Or I will have lost um 
my glasses actually that's a lie the thing that i'm looking for the most in the mornings is my glasses i'm like where have i put them because i always just throw them on the floor it's the last thing i'm worried about when i go to bed so I just throw them on the floor and i'm like i'll just find them in the morning and then i can never find them so that's my glasses and they always seem to be either on my chair or my bedroom floor but it's okay because i'm not wearing contacts a bit more um what is your favorite word hmm Probably my favourite word is bloody L, um, because I say that quite a lot, oh shit. And my least favourite word is whatever. My dad loves to say whatever. I actually got my t-shirt with it on, just because that's what my dad, I just was like, dad, I'm going to get you a t-shirt that says whatever on, because he just says whatever. Okay, um, who is your hero? My hero is my cousins. I look up to them, I see them as big sisters, um, and I follow how, like, they're a lot older than me, so I look at what they've done in their lives and how I could do it, and they're really inspirational to me, and they mean a lot to me, which I'm so grateful that I have both my cousins. Um, I have quite a few cousins but for me it's my two local cousins who mean the most to me I don't know whether they actually know this but they do mean so much to me and I wish like I could spend a bit more time with them because it's nice to have proper like conversations about my grandma and things that happen when um, I was little and they were little and what we did with grandma and just to see how they've both grown up. So yeah, they're ba probably both my heroes and who I look up to the most. So on that nice note, I'm gonna end this video because I've got one flashing camera. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hopefully will see you very